Hello all you hard core boxing fans out there. How you doing? Big Pork here, the voice of hard core boxing. Right, before I go, I'm just gonna do this video. This is a the, this is a reply to Brian. Right, Brian, right. You've sent me your top five, right? Super middleweights of the last 30 years. Now You've got Frotch in fifth place, Eubank Senior fourth, De Gale third, Robin Reed second, and George Groves first. Right. Okay. Let me just go through them. We're gonna go through through them and see what wins they've got. What top wins? We're not gonna go through all the belts from the beginning of the careers. We're gonna go top end of the careers. Right. George Groves, who you had in first place, has got four wins over world champions. Former, current and future. Right. Chudinoff. Right. Eubank Jr. James D. Gale and Glenn Johnson. If I were to break them down, I'd get loads of hate mail. That's what I guess. So I'm not gonna break them down and say there was a certain age or it was a regular belt or it was an IBO belt or an interim champion because do we count interim champions is it the same it is the same as a regular for wba but it, it, is it for ibf we don't know so we're going to count interim champions as well aren't we right so right so george groves he's got four good wins yeah right you've got robin reed second Right, Robin Reed's got four top wins. Nardiello, Sharifi, Vasquez and Brian McGee. He were robbed against Otki. Kazagi fight could have gone either way. Been in with Jeff Lacey, been in with Carl Froch, but he were past his best then. But so he's got four, same as Groves, right. You've got De Gale. Now, James De Gale, it's a bit of a myth really about James De Gale. He's got a win over Boutte. But he'd already been knocked out by Frotch. Frotch took his O. He's got a win over Calab Truex. Calab Truex. He rematched him and James won't rematch. And he's got a win over Durrell, hasn't he? Oh, Frotch had, oh, Fro Frotch had took his O. So, and if you want to count Durrell into in regular IBF, IBF, whatever it is. So he's got two stroke three, hasn't he? Right. Chris Eubank Senior. This is probably the biggest myth out of all of them. Chris Eubank Senior at 168 pounds because he had a win over Nigel Ben, but that were at 160 pounds. So at 168 pound, Chris Eubank Senior has three wins: Rossi Gianni, Holmes, and Malinga. Three. All that hype, and Chris Eubank Senior's only got three. That's probably why he's not in Hall of Fame yet, isn't it? I could be wrong on that though, but I don't think he is, is he? It'd be unbearable if he was. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? And then we come to the guy who you've got in fifth place. Right? Carl Frotch. Are you ready for this? McGee, Reed, Pascal, Taylor, Abraham, Johnson, Boutte, Kessler, Groves twice, and Derrell, if you want to count that, as I because he went on to win IBF interim and well is that a regular or interim? So it's a ten stroke eleven. But yeah, you've got him in fifth place. Joe Calzaghe had nine. Nine. So he's got more than Calzaghe. Top wins, hasn't he? But there were more to choose from and it was a stronger era. But if you look at Frotchers, Brian McGee, Calzaghe didn't want to fight, face him. Robin Reed, I thought he beat Calzaghe. Could have gone either way, but I thought he shaded it. Frotch knocked him out. He knocked McGee out. Calzaghe won't face McGee. Pascal, he beat Diacono undefeated, Dawson undefeated, and went on to beat Laniel at 175. Frotch took his O. Jermaine Taylor had only been beat by Pavlek. Frotch knocked him out. He beat Hopkins twice. Taylor. Abraham, he was undefeated, wasn't he? he only had a, only a defeat on his record were a disqualification, but it was debatable for knocking Dirrell out. Arthur Abraham, they scored him in Finland. Glenn Johnson, he knocked Roy Jones out. Frotch beat him. Boutte took his O. Beat Kessler in London. Took Groves' O. Beat him twice. 
And like I said, took Derelzo. So how come you've got Carl Froch in fifth place, mate? You should be embarrassed. Nobody's got more wins at super middleweight than Carl Froch if you go through record books. All right. So that's about it. So I rest my the defence rests the case. All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Who's your favourite super middleweight at 168 pound? And who's got the best CV of wins when you go through them all and look at who the people that they beats wins? I mean. You know, you go through Groves's, Chudding off Vacant, Eubank Jr. IBO, Glenn Johnson, knocking on a bit, one not he? Six month on settee when Jack Groves fought him. But you could pick holes in all of them, but I think Carl Froch has got the best CV at 168 pounds, so this will cause controversy. I want all you trolls, I want you all to get out of your bed sits, or get out of your spare bedroom and in your mum's houses, go downstairs onto your computer. And I want you to tell me what you think, alright? Like and subscribe and leave a comment, alright? Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, and keep supporting Porky's Corner because we're going places.